Hello everyone, welcome back to another lesson with Rivera Fine Art Studios. Today I wanted to discuss painting a sunset. Uh, this is footage taken from a recent Zoom class which I taught, which has been sped up quite a bit so I can cover uh, a lot of material in a short amount of time. Now this is something that I have been asked about uh, from my students, so I decided to put together a class on this particular topic. And what you can see uh, right now is I'm just massing in the large areas of color um, using um, lots of cadmium colors uh, in the orange sections to create those brighter oranges, which is going to really be the focal point of this painting. And to do this, I'm starting off with a very broad, soft bristled brush. I'm painting on a smooth wooden panel, so I like using soft bristled brushes. Uh, and that really allows for very easy blending. So I have very smooth transitions uh, in sections which I'm going to create by blending uh, wet and wet paint with the soft bristled brush. Once I've established these large areas of color, I can go in with a small brush and start adding more details as I'm doing right now to create uh, the lighter sections on the clouds. So now what I'm doing is coming back with a glaze to add more of a rich orange to the transition between the light and the blue sky. Glazing is a technique which I use to create very rich, luminous optical color. And it's very different from a direct painting method. I can't really uh, create the same results using direct painting. Uh, so right now I'm just continuing to add more detail. I'm really focusing on the light as it's sort of catching the edge of the cloud and illuminating that edge. And I'm just continuing to break into some of my lighter areas with a few dark patches. So this just helps to break up some of those, uh, those larger areas. And as I do this, I'm also continuing to adjust my colors a little bit. I'm focusing a lot on warm and cool passages of color uh, because that's really what the sky is about. We have this deep orange sun and then we have areas of a very deep blue. And using complementary colors in this way creates uh, contrast and harmony in the painting. Uh, but one of the things that I'm very conscious of is that I don't want the, the colors to be of the same intensity. So uh, the orange is much more intense than the blues. The blues are secondary uh, to those vibrant uh, orange colors. And that will help me to really keep in mind what my focal point is. So uh, as I kind of move around the painting, I'm coming into the foreground now, and I'm working on uh, this area of hay, uh, which has been recently mowed. And this is something that I spent really a lot of time on. Um, this is something that I talk about uh, quite a bit in my classes, but there's, there's many layers here to sort of build up the texture and the detail of the hay. And to do this effectively, I have to kind of continue to switch to smaller and smaller brushes with each layer. So now I'm starting to add highlights and I'm using a, a relatively small brush, but I'm not done. I'm going to switch to even a smaller one for those final areas of detail. So now I'm adding individual strands of hay using a 10-0 script brush. The script brushes have long bristles and are very narrow, which allows me to create fine strokes of color. And I've also diluted the paint with medium to help uh, my brush glide over the surface of the panel with more ease. So now I'm coming back into the sky and I'm just putting a few finishing touches on the clouds um, you know, just trying to make them soft and wispy looking. And now I am finally at the stage where I'm ready to sign the painting. The painting developed over the course of about six weeks, and hopefully you could see from the video how much time was put into it. Um, lots of content packed into a very short video, but there was really no other way that I could show this um, other than to speed it up. So there's many layers uh, and layers of both direct painting as well as glazing to help build up the luminous optical color effects. And this is really how the old masters would work. So they didn't go out and set up directly in front of nature. 
uh, and bang the painting out in an hour or two. They really spent their time. They would do drawings. They would do compositional studies and really plan it out. And then they would uh, really develop the painting in their studio over the course of many, many weeks. So here I'm just kind of showing you the entire image um, to show you the amount of detail that has been put into this. And if you are interested in classes like this, I do offer a variety of classes, uh, both um, online classes as well as pre-recorded classes. And to get that information, please visit my website, which is www.riverafinearts.com. Thank you.